Right, I've got a quick video for you, and I'm going to show you how to record your screen using Mac QuickTime. Mac and QuickTime, sorry. Okay, so obviously we've got QuickTime, we'll activate that, and uh, we'll just make sure it's um, active in our grey toolbar at the top. I want to click File and New Recording. As you can see, it's greyed out on mine at the moment. That's because I'm using it to record this. Once you've clicked um, New Recording, you get a little record pop-up box. Just drag that over to the right-hand side. And when you click Record, you'll get this view here. So you click to record the full screen or just drag and drop to any part of the screen that you want using the cursor. And that's quite an easy thing to do. Okay, then we want to import it into iMovies and make our movie. And just please bear in mind this is going to be really quick. So we'll click File, New Project. Um, I've got no theme selected at the moment on the left hand side, but then I'm going to put New Project, Widescreen 16.9, and just leave it on 25 frames per second, pal. That is fine for just little, um, little movies for YouTube and desktop recordings. Okay, then what we're going to do is go File, Import, and um, click Movies, if that's where we've saved our screen recording or whatever you want to import. We can um, obviously create a new event, or we can add to an existing event, so if you've got an existing event, then you're going to use that pop-up box there. I want to optimize the video, click checked, um, large 960 by 540, and this just helps us for uploading later, makes it a little bit less. And then copy or move files, I choose to move the files. You select the screen recording by highlighting it, and then import. And it'll just take a little bit of time to import that into the movie. It'll import at the bottom, I'm just going to click this project here. Um, it'll import at the bottom and you just drag it up to the top. Okay, to get these um, sort of intro things here, all I've done is gone over, sorry you can't see this on the screen, I've gone over to the Maps, Backgrounds and Animatics, the far right hand button, the little globe, um, I've selected the background that I want, which is the, the, the sort of stars if you like, and I've drag and dropped it over to the start of my, uh, my movie. The same with the text, I've then selected the text and dragged it and dropped it onto top of the background that I've selected, and then I'm just going to type. Um, to get this bit in here, you just drag and select what ever part of the um, project at the bottom you want to import in and just drag it and drop it and that'll do it instantly in for you. <clears throat> you can obviously select the ones from the left if you want to do that as well. Right, okay, to um, record voice, you just select the mic, click the mic, select where on the um, film strip that you want it to start. It'll give you a little countdown in the preview pane on the right hand side, three, two, one, and then you just start talking. Um, Obviously, talk over and you can watch it in the preview pane on the right hand side. Once you've finished with your audio, you just click the mic again and it will stop it from there. And that's your audio sort of film strip at the bottom there. Really simple, really, really easy to do. Right, once we're happy with our movie, I've just deleted that because I'm not using that bit. Um, I'm going to go file and finalize my project. It takes a little bit of time to do, but just finalize the project. After it's finalized, you're going to go share and export movie. Lots of people say you have to export movie using QuickTime. You don't. Just export movie, and that's really easy to do. And then drag and drop it to YouTube. 